Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's that time of the week again, where Microsoft starts pushing out their insider builds. And first of all, starting with the latest Canary Channel build, 25992, which they rolled out on the 8th. And just a quick look as to what is hot off the presses, as Microsoft calls these new features in the Canary Channel, if you are interested in new features and developments that could make their way into the stable channel. Now, first of all, what's new in build 25992? Now, the first four changes are regarding SMB changes, which is a server message block, and that's protocol changes mainly affecting admins. So I'm just going to go through the key highlight of each change, and uh, um, if you want more info, I'll leave the release notes for this build in the description. If you do find yourself an admin, you can go read up on that more in depth if you so wish. So the following server message block SMB protocol changes have rolled out with this build. SMB firewall rule changes. SMB NTLM blocking exception list. SMB alternative client and server ports. And SMB over quick spelled Q-U-R-C client access control certificate changes. So as mentioned, those SMB protocol changes are mainly affecting system admins and IT administrators. Now, the changes and improvements are for the File Explorer and um, archive file formats. So Microsoft says that they did some work which should help noticeably improve the performance of opening large .zip files in File Explorer, which is a nice move. It's a, it's a bit of a performance boost. And then they've added support for creating, as we can see, uh, seven, uh, seven zip and TAR archives in addition to zip. Now those two, um, seven zip and TAR creating those archival file formats are not available in the stable version. So I think this is a nice move uh, forward where in the stable version, the archive support is only read only where, yeah, you can actually, um, compress down to zip now. 7-zip and uh, TAR archives. So I think that's a nice move. And if you are using and zipping and unzipping archive file formats in Windows, um, I think that may be a nice move in the right direction. And then just a small little uh, change when it comes to the snap layouts. So if we just head to the next uh, screenshot provided, um, they now show suggestions in snap layouts that will help you... Um, instantly snap multiple app windows together. So as we can see, when hovering over the minimize or maximize button on an app uh, to launch the layout box, you will now see app icons displayed in various layout options to help recommend the best layout option that works best. And I must be honest, um, the Snap Assist Snap Layouts in Windows 11 is a feature that I personally don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. I just find it brings a lot of clutter. But if you are multitasking and this is a feature that you like, I think that may be a nice move in the right direction. So those are really the key highlights. And over and above that, um, we get fixes for known issues, which is always a good thing because it's still early days in the Canary Channel. Um, we do get three new known issues because once again, it's still early days in the Canary Channel. And then there's also a snipping tool update. And this is to version... So if you are in the Canary Channel, um, this snipping tool update uh, is to version 11.2310.49.0. And what they are doing is they are rolling out um, this update to the Canary and Dev Channels. So those are insiders in the Canary and Dev Channels. Um, improving HDR display support. So screenshots and screen recordings on displays with HDR enabled should be able to better display colors. So that's a bit of a graphics improvement when it comes to HDR display support now available in the latest snipping tool update for the Canary and the Dev channel. So that's more or less what's hot off the presses for this week uh, for the Canary channel. And that's build 25992. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.